A concussion is a form of a minor head injury that's uh, usually sustained from a blow to the head. Uh, the most common sort of thing that we might think about would be a football player being knocked to the ground. Symptoms of the concussion can be headache that lasts for a short or a long time after the blow to the head, as well as some other problems that can be much longer, such as difficulty with attention, trouble sleeping, and uh, confusion or inability to concentrate. The brain is very well protected in the human by the skull, which is difficult to depress and very difficult to deform. However, inside the skull, the brain sits within the inside of the box. And all of those things I've just described can be a hindrance because as the head is hit, the brain actually moves within the box. And you can imagine the brain shifting back and forth, hitting itself on either side. What a lot of people forget is that the brain is really the consistency of jello. It has sort of a wiggle to it. It can be bruised the same way skin or muscle can be bruised because if it's compressed quickly, that concussive force can cause a shock wave to go through the brain, just as shock waves go through any liquid type material. And that shock wave can disrupt the blood vessels, it can disconnect the brain cells. And in fact, what we call a brain contusion, which is really a brain bruise, is a little focal area where the impact has caused the blood vessels to be disrupted. Not the big blood vessels, but the small capillaries. The kernel of the contusion where the blood was uh, either the most dense and where the blood vessels were the most injured, oftentimes will actually die away. And the brain is left with a small hole that just fills with fluid. And if that area had that function, it can also be lost. It's been a lot of discussion about when full recovery is reached after a concussive injury. There's not really a lot of data to support any of the particular guidelines that we use, but in general, waiting a few days after all the symptoms are gone and making sure that everything's functioning the way it had been before is sort of the preferred time. And then the graded increase in activity is guided by any return of symptoms at any stage, in which case the, the player is asked to take a step or two backwards to a lower level of activity and then begin the climb back up to full activity again on a slower pace.